Thank you very much. Thank you. <clears throat> We're going to head north now from uh, from the southwest, from Schlieve Lucra. When you head north there from that part of the world, you come to a big river called the Shannon, and once you cross the Shannon, you're in uh, into County Clare. Um, and they have a very different style of music there. And one of the great fiddlers from that part of the world was living in London when I was growing up, a man called Bobby Casey. And I got to uh, listen to Bobby a lot and join in with him occasionally. And uh, through listening to Bobby, I learned about lots of other uh, great clear fiddlers. Some of the names you might know if you follow this kind of music would be Martin Rochford, uh, Junior Crean, John Kelly, Joe Ryan, Paddy Kenny, the whole gang of them. And these three tunes, I probably learnt them from Bobby, but I'm not certain. Could have been any one of those guys, or maybe some of the other great Cleo musicians. But it's a set of three reels that I play. The Maids of... Um, well, Tuttle's reel, the Bunch of Green Rushes, and the Maids of Mitchellstown. <laughs> So another another uh, character from those London days was a woman called Lucy Farr. She came from Galway, played a lot of great music, and w she came over to Ireland. She used to play with a group called the Ballina Kilkenny Band, 
And then she left Ireland in the 30s, I think, came to London, became a nurse and raised a family. And I think she gave up playing for a while. But by the time I was a young teenager, she was back at this uh, as a kind of a mainstay of a lot of the great London sessions. And I used to hear her a lot. And she was very encouraging with her music and her time and uh, very generous. And was always giving me advice on how to play and who to listen to and what kind of tunes to pay attention to. And, and she would also teach me the occasional tune. And this is, next one is one of hers. Uh, she didn't have a name for it, but she said it was a, a kind of a tune called a fling. So it became no, known as Lucy's Fling. And then uh, years later, I recorded it with uh, Michal O'Donnell, who I'm sure many of you remember, a great singer and guitarist with the Botty Band. We played together for a while as a duo, and in one of our records, we put Lucy's Fling together with two other pieces. One was a Scottish piece of mouth music called Shummer of the Economy, which uh, unfortunately, I don't know what that means. <laughs> but my hunch is you don't know either, so. <laughs> um, and then the third one is, is kind of a hornpipe, but it was also the tune to a very popular novelty song, um, Some Say the Devil is Dead. And the next line of the song is, and buried in Killarney. <laughs> now Killarney is a very well-known tourist town in the south of Ireland. But my grandmother was from up the other end of the country, up in Sligo, in the northwest. And she grew up near a place called Kulani. So when she sang the song, she would uh, always put in Kulani instead of Kalarni. <laughs> Some say the devil is dead and buried in Kulani. <laughs> and I think to the day she died, she was very proud of the fact that she was from the same parish where the devil was buried. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>
Thank you.